I'm a nephrology attending here at the university. I practice both in internal medicine and in pediatrics. In some ways, I'm sort of Mizzou born and bred, I guess. I did undergrad here, went to medical school here, and then I stayed for residency um, very intentionally because, number one, we loved the Columbia area. Um, my husband and I both were um, finishing medical school at the same time and starting residency, and uh, we knew the area. We were very happy here. We really felt like we had a good handle on the culture, and that was something that we got to know more as we interviewed at other hospitals, other institutions, other medical schools, that we could see um, really how people interacted in, in other environments, and we knew that we liked this environment. Our people are friendly, people care about not only the job and their patients, but care about each other, and so that interaction between co-workers was really important to us. So I'm Karen Moore, I'm one of the MedPs attendings, I did my residency and med school here um, and then I joined the faculty in July of 2019. We are um, probably the largest healthcare provider in Columbia. Um, already knowing the facility, knowing the residents, the faculty um, was a big driver. I love Mizzou. I'm one of the very few people that's from Columbia, Missouri. My father here came to Mizzou in the 60s so Columbia, Missouri is home. I was in the second full class to come through here many years ago. Um, I started out afterwards joining the Department of Child Health as a pediatric hospitalist. At that time, our ICU was open, so we also ran the ICU as well. And I did that for a few years. I also came on and started the adult um, cystic fibrosis center. Um, because I was med peds and it was an easy transition because we already had a robust peds cystic fibrosis program. I was lucky enough to do a combined fellowship and I did um, an adult and pediatric nephrology fellowship uh, and and that really set me up for having a career that looks exactly like what I want it to be. Uh, I get to continue full spectrum care so I take care of kids uh, with kidney disease from birth uh, all the way up to elderly patients. Um, and there has never been a point when I have ever really considered limiting myself to either pediatric nephrology or adult nephrology. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to work in a specialty where a combined practice makes a lot of sense, um, gives me a lot of continuity, a lot of opportunity, um, not only in my clinical practice, but also um, really for my career, gives me a lot of opportunity, a lot of flexibility um, to make my career look exactly the the way I wanted to. So I, having done med school here, I was familiar with some of the faculty for our residency program. Um, I actually did an externship after my first year of med school where I met Dr. Emerson and Dr. Lancey and a lot of our faculty that were in um, leadership positions at the time. And after that, um, I had med peds is what I wanted to do. Um, my third year rotation solidified that and the more that I worked with the MedPeds residents I was like okay this is kind of where I fit in this is what I think I want to do um, and then every rotation was just more and more this is exactly what I want to do. So I was lucky enough that I had mentors here at the School of Medicine that recognized MedPeds to have great value that was different than other primary care specialties such as family medicine. What it offered me was an opportunity to say I can do a lot of things that I really like and then I could just slip into those positions. I wasn't one to just stick with one opportunity or have one interest. Sometimes we talk about, but you don't realize it until you're in the thick of it, is how much your pediatric training really improves your your adult your adult experience and vice versa. And that's something that is unique. And I think everyone that does MedPeds realizes that they have value in that um, and can sort of bridge clinical care in that way. So for me personally, it's provided opportunities to have my um, hand at lots of different clinical programs and also to be involved in leadership and administration within the system itself. Uh, MedPeds tends to attract 
a relatively specific personality type. It's people who like to work hard and play hard. And, um, you know, we have a sense of humor and uh, we're not afraid of hard things. Um, and I think that that personality, the residency as a group still has that sense, just like it did back when I was a resident. And so they, we've now implemented a once weekly board prep review, um, which I think has been very helpful. They've adjusted some of the rotation. So it used to be that we would always do four consecutive weeks, um, but there was kind of a vote towards just doing two weeks at a time. The residents, and all these changes were definitely driven by the residents going to Dr. Emerson and Dr. Butcher and saying, hey, we see this problem, how can we fix it? And then working with them to fix whatever it was. The best part that I can say about how the program has changed is that being a MedPeds resident within the system, uh, you have a presence and even when you're on medicine or peds, people just know you for who you are, which is a really good doctor. We're awesome. <laughs> uh, I would say, so we have a very strong med peds presence, which isn't, it, it doesn't happen in a lot of places. I think it's the collegiality and it's the support that you have from each other um, you are a very tight-knit group because you go through this very tough, um, engaging time as a resident. It's come learn. It's really a, a place where you're going to live for four years. You're going to be part of something and part of a group, um, which is really important because wherever you go, you're going to spend a lot of time with these people. This is where you're going to spend you know, your days and your nights and your weekends and your holidays. Uh, and so it's really important to be in a group where you're supported, where people care about you, they care about the work you're doing and how you're doing doing that work. And so that's that that sense of, of togetherness, I think, is the most important part of our residency program. And it's what keeps people coming back here.